Night's Journal, October 15th. I've been going over the evidence of this case now for hours. Days, actually. And I just can't seem to find any link that connects the missing. Nothing. It's almost like the culprit wants it to appear, as if these are all just random. Now, I've been in this game for a long time, and I can tell you this for a fact. There is nothing random about these people going missing. Oh, no. Someone wanted to make these people disappear, and they've gone to great lengths to make it appear as if they've just simply vanished without a trace. I've been here a few nights now. The first thing I'd done when I got here was meet up with the chief superintendent in a tucked away little cafe in the town. He was in civilian clothing, so he clearly doesn't want to make people panic even more. He was tense, on edge. I don't suspect anything from him. He just looks scared and confused as everyone else. I don't think he's fit for the position of chief superintendent. He's given me everything he has on the case, and it's all the same from the locals. About a month ago, people just started to go missing. Now keep in mind, Middlesbrough is a town in northeast England. It's not a big city. Shit like this just doesn't happen out here. Not without a motive anyway. The only link I can seem to put together is that all the missing persons are male. Could that mean something? Or am I just getting desperate now for a development? Hello, this is Knight. Knight, there's been an update involving the ongoing missing men case. What's happened? We'll tell you everything about the incident when you get here, Knight. I'm sending a car to come get you. So go work outside. I'll be there shortly. Okay. I'm on my way now. Evening, Knight. Thanks for coming on such short notice. No problem. It's what you pay me for, right? So, what have we got? So about 45 minutes ago, the bar owner said he heard something come into the bar and start talking with Matthews. He says he couldn't really hear what they were saying, but the other person sounded like a woman. Okay. So that's something. More than we had before anyway. What happened next? The bar owner carried on with his usual duties, and then he suddenly heard a ruckus downstairs, followed by some shouting, and then the door slammed shut. You know what? You're better off speaking to him yourself, Knight. It's a bit weird for my liking. Will do, Chief. Evening, fella. I take it you're the bar owner? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Do you want to start to tell me what went down here tonight, then? Well, I heard some commotion going on upstairs, and what I think is the sound of some screeching tyres. Hmm, okay. What happened next? Well, as you can guess, after that I went to go see what the hell was going on, and they were both gone. All I found was his coat and half of his pint. This guy is seriously shaken. He heard something that proper spooked him. His story matches, but I don't think, from what he's told us tonight, he can be any help with investigation. Today, I thought we would make some sort of progress, given the fact that we finally had a witness. But still, nothing. More questions than answers now. I'm beginning to think this case may never be solved. Or is it going to be too little too late before I make any progress? You look like you could use a drink. Look, just leave me alone. I've had a shitty night and I just want to be left in peace. <laughs> I bet you get older ladies with that attitude. I was just trying to be nice. Julie Garden. Her van was outside their houses before they disappeared. Oh, so you the PI they got in. Oh. I gotta tell the chief. 